Hello, welcome to episode 24. Um, so since the last time, I made a little bit of progress. Uh, what I mainly did was um, do all the boring stuff that I've done in the beginning, like cut down the tree, make the first chairs, blah blah blah. Um, and I've got to the point now where I can actually start doing some more interesting things, hopefully, rather than just the sequential, like, cut tree, do this, just this, and this, and that, and that. Just in the massive list, so... Um, it'll get a little bit more interesting from now on, hopefully. Um, I guess I'll just show you what I've got right now. So this is all pretty much the same as last episode. Um, I made some small adjustments to make it a little bit more um, robust. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much still the same. Uh, what I added is that um, it stores some things in the chest properly now, and it picks them up properly. Um, like last time I was having trouble with that log that would sit on the ground here and then I wouldn't pick, be able to pick it up anymore. Um, I fixed that. So now it still does... Oop. Well, that's supposed to happen. It still drops it on the ground there. Um, but in a minute it'll dig this block out so that the um, the log drops down and then it can suck it up again. There you go. And now it uh, stores a plank and a piece of dirt in this chest. And it's... Uh, what it also does now is... Um, the next step is to find more trees and get more wood because I'm going to need more than what I'm what I've got right now. Also for fuel, but you know, also for building all the materials I'm going to need. So what it's doing now is it's heading off to the corner of the um, the area that I can stay in. Um, and while it's doing that, it's also checking for trees around it. Um, it's not recognizing this oak thing as a tree. Oh, sorry, this is an oak. I mean uh, pine. Is this pine? Whatever. The white one. Um, because it's it's a different block code from the one it's comparing to. It's using this last piece of um, log that it has to compare the blocks around it uh, to check for wood for other other trees. And this is a different block, so it doesn't recognize it. Um, I haven't really found a, a way to fix that yet. Um, what it's also doing is being a little bit intelligent about um, where it's um, walking and stuff. Like it's not going to dig through the dirt, but it'll follow the contour of the, the land rather than digging straight through the dirt and all that. Because um, I don't want to make a massive mess of the area, and I also don't want to end up with a bunch of dirt and other blocks in my inventory that I have no idea what they are. So I, whenever I do any digging or something, I want to know exactly what I'm digging. Um, so that I'm sure I'm not going to be digging a bunch of crap that I can't recognize later. So I want to keep good track of what's in my inventory and um, what's not and what I'm digging and all that, and where I'm storing it. Um, so we've got to the point now where I'm at the corner of the map, and the plan is to do um, a quarry-like program, but rather than quarrying, I'm going to be looking for trees. So, while I'm doing that, um, I also want to be conserving as much fuel as possible, because fuel is going to be hard to get. Um, and that's why when I'm moving forward, you see the, the turtle looking left and right. So if there's a tree on my right side or my left side, then I can find it like that, rather than having to go only forward, and then move up one layer, and then go all the way back, I can um, check left, middle, and right, do all of that, and then when I head over to the to go back the other way again, I can go two or three blocks to the, to the, to the right in this case, I can move up three blocks, and then also go right, left, and I can check um, a much larger area using less fuel, um, so that's why I'm doing that. Um, so I guess I'll quickly write that. So I, I wrote the the go to corner function, which is that last bit, that little track that it did. And um, there's a f I made a function called check for trees, and what that does is basically the turning left and right to check whether there's a tree in front of me or next to me. Um, and if if there is, I'll harvest the tree, and that's just a simple function that um, cuts down the tree, goes up and then down, make sure it gets all the logs, and then it goes back to where it started. Oh, here it is. Um, so yeah, it moves forward to cut down the first block, and then it goes all the way up to the top of the tree, and then it goes back down, and then possibly if there's still some more logs under it that it didn't get the first time, then it'll get those, and then move back up again, um, and then go back to where it originally started. Um, so I'm basically going to be using, oh sorry, I'm basically going to be using these two methods again for the uh, find tree function. Um, so. The area we're working in is um, like a 32 by 32 area because you only get um, 
one chunk loader. I don't think I've explained that rule completely yet. Um, this was the original tree that the map started out on. That iron block there is going to be a chunk loader block. Um, I think they're going to use one from Realcraft now, I'm not sure, but it doesn't really matter. What it means is you have like a 3x3 three three chunk area in which your bot can or your turtle can stay and if it um, leaves that area then it gets unloaded and you're screwed. So that means that if your um, turtle is here um, and the chunk border is right here, um, you've only got 16 blocks in that direction that you can move before you get unloaded. Um, so you get 16 blocks in every direction which leaves you know, like 33 max. Um, but I'm going to not take any risk and just stick with 32. So I can go 16 blocks in any direction uh, from my starting point. Um, so from here, I'm going to say this is the edge. I can go, um, let's say, 32 blocks forward. And I'm going to make that 31, I think, because I'm <laughs> really scared of leaving the area. Um, so let's do that. So it's going to be 4i is 1, 2, 31. And that. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be checking for trees every time we before we do a move, and once we've checked that, we can move forward safely. And I made this extra move forward method um, to make sure that it doesn't dig through things. This is my my normal move forward just digs right through everything without even checking. Um, so this is my from my regular move forward. Um, which you know from the previous uh, tutorials. Um, and the move forward safely does exactly the same. Actually, sorry, it doesn't. I forgot to copy this over, that's stupid. Whoops, my bad. Very important to keep track of your coordinates. Um, so what it does is it checks in front of it, um, and if there's a block in front of it, it will start moving up. Um, and move up is just as dangerous as move forward as it will just dig blocks that are above it. So I'm also going to check for um, blocks above me um, and if there is a block above me I will still move up anyway but I'll also drop the item that I dug because I have no idea what the item is um, and I don't want to deal with that so I just want to chuck it uh, immediately. Um, I was thinking about um, making the turtle go back as, as soon as it also finds something above it um, but then the whole method is going to get a little bit too complicated and I can't be bothered to deal with that. Um, so I'm just going to have it dig right up uh, until it gets to a point where there's nothing in front of it anymore. Um, and if there's nothing in front of it, then it will move forward. And then once it's moved forward, if there's um, empty space below it, so you do a detect down, and if there's nothing there, then you move down until you uh, reach the bottom or reach the ground. So it means what it means is it's just going to go, once it gets to this block here, it'll move up, and then once it gets here, it'll be hovering above the ground, then it will move back down again. So it'll always be um, on the ground, but not break any, any blocks in front of it. Um, so that's that. Go back down again. Um, move forward safely. Yeah, so we're going to do that 31 times. Um, check for trees, already has the harvest tree in it, so I don't worry about that. So that's all I really have to do. Um, and then we're going to look... Um, what is it? I'm going from north, I'm going to the east. Right here. Ooh. That's nice. Now we're going to be doing exactly the same thing. Actually, no, we're not. Because I'm going to do a move forward. Um, we're going to do that like a couple of times. What did I say? Three, I believe. Okay. Um, then where we're looking after that depends on uh, how many times we've done this. I'm going to have to do this a couple of times. Um, must do a little bit of counting here as well. Um, if I'm moving three blocks to the right every time, I could do that like ten times until I get to the all the way to the other side. So um, we'll have a for loop going. <laughs> I always run out of letters here. <laughs> um, for k, whatever. Uh, it's equal to one, two, ten. 
Oh, I'm so glad I could do this on a notepad now, because I could do that. <laughs> do everything in one go. Um, if, if you don't know this, um, if you select uh, a whole bunch of things and push tab, you can move them forward. If you press shift tab, you can move them back. Um, very useful. Most uh, text editors will do that. Especially if you're using a programming environment. Um, I'm losing my train of thought while I'm explaining that. Um, so we're moving to the next line, and then depending on how many times uh, we've done this, so if it's, it's going to be one the first time, so that's uneven, and then we want to be looking to the south. Yep, because we're going to be looking north originally, and then after doing it once, we're going to be going the other way, and we're going to be looking south. Yep, that's good. Um, so if uh, k modulo 2 um, is equal to 1, then look, what did I say, south? Else, look north. Okay, and once it's done that, it can do the four one thirty one that again. It can do it all again, and it'll be good. Right. So after doing that, um, all we need to do is really go back home. Um, I think I'll deal with that later though. I'll make an extra I'll make a new function. Um, go back home. Right. Basically my whole structure for this thing at the moment is just do things in sequence and sort of every part of it is just gonna have its own function which I'll just put down here in the, the bottom as a program and then run it. Um Maybe later on it'll get a little bit more interesting, but for the now, uh, that's what it's going to be like. Um, what I'm going to do now, though, is I'm just going to just test this. I'm going to comment all of that out. I know I can do block comments, but I can never quite remember how to do that in Lua because it's a little bit of a silly thing. Um, fight trees. I'm just going to test this immediately and see. Uh, it works. Nope. Oh, uh, but luckily we have line numbers now, so I can see what's going on. Missing a do there. Um, so nice that I can also just edit it there and then start the program here immediately. Okay, so there it goes. Oh, four limit must be a number. I beg your pardon. What is your problem? 65. Oh. Four steps. Oh, whoops. Yep. Um, in the move forward safely function, I made it that I could also put how many steps I want to go because I was thinking of um, doing this 15 times and then just filling in 15 here so that I'll do it 15 times. Um, but because I also have to check for trees after every move, I <laughs> ended up just putting one. Um, so I don't know how handy it's going to be to be able to put a number in there, but uh, you never know. Might come in handy at some point. For now, I'm just going to fill in one every time. Um, yeah, whatever. Let's start. Alright. This is good. Um, so while this is, I hope it finds a tree, otherwise this is going to be really boring. It doesn't look like it's going to find a tree anytime soon. Stupid oak. Well, what do you call that? I keep forgetting what these are called. Actually, I could just chop one down and I would know. Nope. Birch, that was it. Right, so while this guy is digging around, I'm just going to see what else we can do here. So, we're finding trees, that's good. Um. Hopefully with all the trees in the area, that'll be enough to keep me going to complete the whole task. 
Um, the main thing I'm worried about is fuel, because it's uh, such a pain. Because you need, you need, we don't need that much wood. You only need the wood for the pick, I guess. Hmm. I'm gonna have to see how much wood I actually need. I could probably just make a couple of sticks. Oh, and you also need to make a torch, because um, in the rules uh, they want you to um, put a torch near your starting area, and then. Um, It, yeah, your turtle needs to check the torch before every night before it uh, you know, heads off to do something else. Well, this is interesting. Oh, he's going back the other way now. He's going to find <laughs> no trees. Oh. See, this kind of thing is also annoying because if he was to come through here, he's going to start going over the leaves and he's going to completely miss this tree. Which is a waste. Although I guess when he comes back the other way he might find it. Actually no he won't because I'm, I'm covering everything so that I only look at it once. So yeah he's just going to miss, I, he would miss this tree. It would go right but it's, if he was on this li line here he would miss it. That would be that would be a shame. So it's not perfect yet this system but hopefully it'll get me enough wood. Also uh, in the beginning I have like enough fuel to go maybe a hundred blocks so somewhere in this method I'm also gonna have to do a check uh, on the fuel and uh, do a emergency refuel if I have to which means I'm gonna have to use up my oak wood which means I have nothing to compare anymore I kinda wanna show you what happens when it finds you know, <laughs> another tree but it's gonna, I'm gonna have to talk about nothing for a little longer So if he's going to be here now, it's going to be one, two, three. Oh, he'll find this tree next time. Good. At least, yeah, he'll find that tree. Unless he, oh, wait, he's going to he's going to turn left here, isn't he? Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, he'll find this tree. So yeah, I'm going to have to do something about the refueling. Um, Basically, it's going to be a massive stroke of luck um, finding the first tree before your fuel runs out. So I've got enough for like, uh, I think I, I calculated out 100 blocks. So I went from my home position to the corner, that's 30 blocks. And then every every line here is, oh look, he's digging the tree, is 31. So I can do like two lines before I run out of fuel. And if I don't find wood before then, I'm screwed basically. But this, um, he would have made it this time though, so he's got a bit of wood, he's gonna find another tree here, perfect. What you, oh yeah, he also <laughs> goes around grass because he doesn't really know that it's actually something that isn't really worth anything to dig through, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, this seems to be working, I'm quite happy with this. Um, so I guess next episode I'm gonna have to deal with the fuel, I made a little list of things I have to do um, so I've got wood, and that that's sorted. The next thing on the list is fuel. Make sure I have fuel. Um, then comes finding dirt and cobble and recognizing those. Um, after that is getting coal for the torch, and uh, also for fuel. So uh, coal gives you like a, a million fuel, like 96, but that's a lot. Um, and after I've got coal, I can start making a furnace and then making smooth stone, so I can make the computers and stuff. Um, and in the meantime, I'm also going to have to, and after I made the, the regular smooth stone, and then I'm going to have to go mining um, and get redstone diamonds and more coal. So that's my uh, my list of things for the coming episodes. I've got 20 days to finish this. Christ. Oh, here's a good example of what happens when there's a block underneath them. You'll also grab that and then go back up. Clever, isn't he? So clever. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'm going to end the episode here. And uh, we'll uh, get going on the fuel next episode and make sure we don't get stuck in the middle of nowhere. So, thanks for watching and see you then.